Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna share with you a custom element to make a Ajax search or a lip search a form uh, by using uh, by following this tutorial from uh, mukto.info website. Uh, the first step is uh, we need to create our element file I name it as lip search form .php and I copy all the code from the uh, default search form element file which you can find it on the temp folder uh, bricks and I make a small adjustment uh, delete some code that I don't need and add some uh, control and add some uh, function that uh, I need to make this Ajax search work um, if we uh, read this documentation this tutorial we need to add this uh, HTML code which is a form and I copy it on the render function inside the render function uh, here and we need to add a function and a javascript code and I copy this code and pass it to a function file um, here you can add this uh, to function file I, I just make a custom file only for this element but you can add to this file this function file and then uh, don't forget to enqueue in in the style, the CSS file. Then create uh, a CSS file. Then we're gonna uh, add some CSS to this file so we can make or adjust the design and the layout uh, more better. Then don't forget to include the file so it can scan it by the builder. Um, I do that on here. Register element. And you can do this on your function file on here. Uh, let's see the back end. This is my a uh, custom element which you can see there is no field option if if you, the default search element from bricks you will uh, see there are two options which is uh, the input and the overlay option but I remove it uh, and this is the, the custom con uh, this is the control type the default control type from uh, the default search element you can adjust the height you can adjust the width you can adjust the placeholder placeholder text and you can add some icon or remove the icon like this and save it And the result, the result uh, is what uh, that you have seen on the beginning of video. See like this. And oh yeah, uh, this element will uh, exist inside the custom element category. Uh, you can change it 
for whatever you like <coughs> and don't forget to add a type at add a category here the custom element category and this is the custom element category so uh, I'm sorry I cannot explain uh, the process from the beginning because I have uh, some uh, busy on my project and in real life but I will share this code uh, at my github so if you have any question and suggestion uh, you can write down on the comment box below uh, thank you for watching and see you next time oh happy coding <laughs>